Okay, so we're in our relatively new urban garden double skin plastic greenhouse and a really important part of the design of this greenhouse is to be providing um, soldier fly larvae for the chickens in the urban garden. And so I'd like to take you through how we um, built our soldier fly farm. Um, we've been trialling different models of soldier fly farms that we've been building from internet patterns over the last three or four years and um, we ended up importing these plastic moulded versions from Vietnam from Saigon with the hope that we can now we can trial them here and make something similar here in New Zealand but in the meantime we have got these which are um, capable of producing a lot of soldier fly larvae and they will take up to 15 kgs of food scraps a day or whatever you're putting in there. So how we, so the first thing we did um, when we got this, when we built this, was that we built a wooden frame to get it up off the ground so that we could put a 10 litre bucket underneath the hole in the bottom of the soldier fly farm to collect the liquid. So we've got a wooden frame here um, and so then we put the soldier fly barrel up on top of it. Um, you'll see that the soldier fly barrel has um, a ramp coming up round both sides of it and there's a hole here which is where the soldier flies drop out at night into the bucket. In the bottom of the soldier fly farm there is a little indent in the middle where we made a hole and we also added some wooden, um, some pieces of wood to hold a netting, a piece of strong netting up on top of those the wood to keep an air gap at the bottom so that the hole would never block up. On top of that netting, we put some weed mat, and then we put a two inch layer of biochar. And the purpose of the biochar is to absorb the nutrients that are leaving the soldier fly farm in the liquid so that we can, so that as when we empty the soldier fly farm each time it gets full, we've got a, a, um, a nice layer of biochar that is fully charged and can be used as fertilizer for the rest of the greenhouse. Um, the combination of the soldier fly liquid leachate and the biochar, it's actually bone char, uh, is an amazing combination and is known to be um, really useful in terms of un uh, the soldier fly liquid unlocks the calcium and the phosphate from the bone char. So it'll be great fertilizer for here. Um, and then on top of the biochar, we have another layer of weed mat and on top of that, we just start feeding the soldier flies. So um, then the idea in this greenhouse is that we keep the soldier flies production, the larvae production going as long as we can. Um, we haven't totally finished nailing all the little things we can do in this greenhouse to keep the temperature up over the winter. And we've had about six weeks where they're not producing. Um, but they're just starting to ramp up again now and we're in mid-August. So the season is a lot longer than it would have been if we'd had the soldier fly farm outside. But we're still hoping to make it so that it's working the whole time. And the soldier fly drop into here and we feed the chickens from here. The purpose of this is to create a place for the soldier flies to lay their eggs because they won't lay their eggs the females won't lay their eggs in the container or on that surface because they'll, the eggs would be eaten by the larvae. So corrugated cardboard is a great place for them to lay their eggs or anything hanging above the soldier fly farm. When the eggs hatch, they just drop down in there. Um, the next part of this process is that once the, when, soldier fly, when you feed the soldier flies, there's about 5% of what you feed them that they can't easily digest. So slowly, slowly over time, this will fill up with, with that 5%. And once it gets full to the top, we'll take the top layer of soldier flies out and we'll harvest all that material that's underneath. And that happens to be perfect feed for worms, even better than anything else we can feed them. So um, in, another, um, in another, another time, we'll show you how we built the worm farm here beside the soldier fly farm which then turns the waste from the soldier fly farm into incredible worm food, which gives us amazing um, vermicast, which can also feed the greenhouse and the rest of the urban garden.